U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Donald Trump campaign's ties to Russia has turned up some significant information, especially when it comes to Trump's ex-lawyer Michael Cohen and former campaign manager Paul Manafort. In recently released Manafort filings, he testified as part of a plea deal, which was later torn up by Mueller. Manafort repeatedly lied to investigators in a number of episodes about his interactions with consultants who were linked to Russian intelligence. We're kind of waiting to see what federal prosecutors will do uh, here in D.C., whether or not they will pursue charges against him for these false statements. Manafort worked for Moscow-backed former Ukrainian president Viktor Yanukovych as early as mid-2015, less than a year after the Orange Revolution. He earned millions lobbying on behalf of the ousted leader in violation of U.S. law. It has also been revealed Michael Cohen, who worked for Trump as a fixer, has been involved in a number of episodes which link to President Trump and potential collusion between Trump's campaign and the Kremlin. In the Cohen case, what we see is that uh, there were a lot more contacts, outreach from Russians to the Trump campaign dating back as far as 2015. Um, so the, the filing actually provides a lot more new details about the substance of those conversations um, and also what Cohen actually lied to Congress about related to those conversations that he had with Russians during the presidential campaign. Last week, Cohen pleaded guilty about lying to Congress over Trump's business plans in Russia. He admitted to speaking with a Kremlin official about drumming up support for a construction project. Trump may have misled the public in 2016 when he said he had no business ties in Russia. Next steps in these cases for Cohen is that next week he will be sentenced by a federal judge in New York. Um, and so he's facing some considerable prison time and prosecutors in New York and uh, with the Southern District of New York up there have um, basically recommended that he should serve substantial prison time. Um, and so he will find out how long he's going to be behind bars if he is uh, by, from a federal judge next week. Federal prosecutors have said Cohen deserves a substantial prison sentence. Meanwhile, it is yet to be seen whether they will pursue charges against Manafort for false statements.